Back again to a messy location. Got to clean up over there. But um, just going through Bricklink orders. Got this one from whatever HUF is the the monetary value. <laughs> I don't remember. Here's a box. Um, the Netherlands, I guess. Is that my, maybe I'm, maybe the currency is wrong. Like I said, but got some Seinfeld. Got some Mario things. So I'm slowly going through. I'm adding. So right here's my adding to Bricklink pile. These are my convention pile so far. So that's what I'm doing. And I got a couple more orders to go through in there to see we can build for eBay. Uh, all these photographed, and I got to list them on eBay, including Brick Daddy, um, and Char. So anyway. I just put away some parts. This order ended up with tax and shipping 152. We are adding back almost $80 to our Brickling store, and then all these are going to convention. There's 27 of them at about $5 each. It's another 135. So, um, so yeah, about a $75 profit on this order. In the end, once everything sells. So that's that. And I'll grab. The next one, I'll get through all these orders and then I'll do eBay listing. Three Bricklink orders in one. Uh, there's some parts here that go to building uh, the speeder bikes. It's, I just couldn't finish the front pieces. I mean, I, I got some sense then, but then I needed some of those. So I think this will finish the rest of them. Um, we'll need that on the front of all, a lot of them, I think. Yeah, some of them. So get those finished up, and I've put it all in one uh, Bricklink order, or one brick store file. I mean, there's 66 lots, 626 items. I don't know. It probably is not going to price up any higher than it is. Um, well, 257. I guess I got some things on sale, but the purpose of this was to get stuff to rebuild figures, and that's what we'll do. I did obviously don't need a lot of this. So a lot of it's going to go back into my store. I think I still even had some of these in my store. They're just really cheap on sale, so I got them. From Goodwill, I think. This is the one I paid about $300 for. Yeah, it definitely is. It has Marty McFly in there. Um, I don't know if it's a good deal, but I saw a couple good things in there, so... And there were some some Star Wars. So I think it was a, it said it was like 200 some uh, minifigures. Obviously, there's some stuff that's not Lego in there as well. But um, yeah, we'll go through this at some point. I got a little backlog now. That's it. Ooh, this is yeah, this is really good. This pirate with that hook, get a good amount for. Ooh, yep, there we go. That's probably one I saw a Django Fat. It's right there. It looks pretty good too. So there's some good good stuff in there. Notion Trooper. Good stuff in here. We got one unopened pack, which is kind of ruined. I'm gonna open it. It's the uh, Cleopatra Queen, uh, Egyptian Queen. But um, is that no. <coughs> Haven't gone through everything here. Pull out everything. That's great. Ooh, that's a good torso. It's the wrong everything else. Um, ooh, is that a storm? That's a fake storm. So we're finding a few few fake things in there. Ooh, this is a good figure. So this stuff we kind of pulled out. At Commander Cody, a phase one. I had a couple of people ask for that at the last show I was at in Milwaukee. Got an old Ant Man. Get the original Excalibur Batman. We got this awesome helmet without holes. Um, there's just a number of really good things. This Django looks brand new. So it's, it's amazing. 
Uh, this stealth suit Spider-Man's awesome. This Pegasus is awesome. Got Gamora, the Marty McFly. We got another. Um, that's the old gray too. That's old gray. Boba Fett. That's awesome. So, lots of nice things. I've never actually had this figure in my life. I don't know what hair she has. I'm sure it's a unique piece. So I'm really hoping that I can find it because I, this is an elves figure, I believe. I don't think it's DC Superhero Girls. But I've never seen it. Don't even know who it is. So, oh, this is pretty cool. It's always cool to find this with the skirt, the ventures. So I'm going to take a lot of this to convention because um, as I was, I bought these as I was at the convention. Or, you know, in the morning, before and after. It's so much. It's just so much fun. This part of that job is seeking and finding good deals. Which this was definitely from finding some of that. It was a very good deal. Not as good as it used to be. Anyway, this business is so hard to break into now. If I'm glad I'm well established, I would not want to try to try to get another trade off. Um, it would be very difficult. But you know, that's why you have a regular job. I I did this while I had a normal job for almost five full years I did this and the other job together so, um, before I felt I could break free and I think it's just very competitive now so um, I don't I th I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a previous video but my my income was down 35% last year but I also bought more than I ever had in a year so it, it it's, it's it's fine it's it's just part of it was a growing year um, and this year, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're going to get back up to where we were. That's a fake one. Are those? Yeah, those are fake claws. So, I just have to stay the course, make smart decisions. And what I buy. Ooh, so, that's, that looks fake. I think it is. That's a bummer. That's a good, that's a good hand. So, it sells. Yeah, it's fake. Um... So I'll have to get, make sure I go through that pretty good. Anyway, we have one, two, three, four pieces of mail I just got. Another one of those. Um, I think I maybe have one or two more coming. Then I'll have, a, I think, 13 to part out. I'm not 100% sure on the number. Uh, this was uh, 45 bucks. It's all... This is how they, sent, they sent this inside another envelope. But let's just cut this open. All space. Mostly black tron, but some there's some of the UFO not UFO droids, the Spirus droids, the Robo Force with the printed legs. Pretty good stuff. I mean, some of these figures I sell for eight to ten bucks individually, so that's really good. This I don't know. Again, I was just searching Lego. It said it was 2.14 pounds, which I do not believe. I guess there's a book in there. Um, all from this one set. It's multiple of the sets, so it's obviously used, but it's a pretty, it's a job I can give to someone and have them sort it. And there's some, I think just do new parts in a bag maybe, I'm not 100% sure. But what interests me the most was, well, I don't know, it's, it didn't really interest me. Oh, this thing. What is this? What is that? Weird. Anyway. I got a bunch of Dragons Rising figures um, with the, those, those paper bags. So I went ahead and found this set for under three bucks each. I got 90 of these poly bags. I've had them before, but never could get that good of a price. I just recorded a long clip without recording. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's some really good stuff. It'll go in the Lost Files that only I know it what happened. Pretty good stuff. This Django is like brand new uh, looking. It's obviously used, but ooh, so there's that was in there too. And, and this is the old gray. So that, that looks pretty good. Looks very good. Um, the Ventress. Really good haul here. So uh, there's probably, yeah, definitely over 200 figures in this. You know, some are not not good <laughs> not good at all uh, but lots of good stuff we found this hair i don't know if that's worth a lot i've never really found it individually i don't think um we found this uh 
clone trooper oh it's clone trooper helmet without the holes so that's really good uh commander cody phase one and there's much more in here that we still have to look through i mean we kind of scoured it try to get all the best stuff i mean there's still stuff worth worth stuff money worth money in here but anyway i just went through all this and i wasn't recording um got another one of those sets got this space a lot for like 45 bucks it had like 40 figures in it it's awesome um and then we got this for 42 dollars total don't know what that is this is all from this one set so they're like building multiples of it so we're going to get this all parted out yeah, obviously this is used but these are some new bags of parts so there's that that came in that box and then i got 90 of these i've never been given a free thing of chapstick with a lego order it looks sealed sugar cookie so I know someone that would like this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All the stuff I was able to complete with those Brooklyn quarters. It's now 1.16 p.m. So felt like this took forever, but uh, we almost got all the flowers sorted. Not, not we. My son. Um, we'll get those probably done today. And then we'll do the those uh, poly bags and Ninjago ones probably tomorrow comes in we take care of it because that's the goal um, although I do have a backlog of minifig parts to sort now <laughs> which is fine not too much and I have a lot more coming though so I gotta figure out when to do that but maybe I should sort these out real quick and separate them from that listing my eBay rebuild or the stuff from the Brooklyn Gorges there are 2,472 eBay listings these I'm going to do tomorrow I showed because um, now this all sudden up here on my table these are the new parts all those two new bags I'm going to do that as a separate thing first and then we'll get all the used parts put up so call it a day because it's now 10 after 2 um, yeah see where we get from there. The flower parts is 32 bucks so we'll keep that in mind and then we'll go work on all these used. And I, I repriced the set um, from used to new because I originally brought it in as a used set because I didn't see the the new bags at first or didn't was just checking that and the price dropped to like seven dollars so the used parts were pretty much the same value as the new for some odd reason but didn't add too much to the store. I think the set was like 80 some lots. So we ended up having almost 50. Well, I had 50 of the 80 some that were in those two bags. There must not have been many other bags. Like there was none of the flush colored parts that I just uploaded. So I must have made another third bag, or maybe I would think it was just one more bag potentially of parts that were not here for that one. But yeah. So keep going. 2:40 p.m. I just want to get this done and get out of here for the day. I had to take a quick break from unloading because when I have, a, have these parts that are in high quantity I don't want to just shove them in a drawer with a bunch of other pieces so we just numbered uh, this one to you one two three four that all the parts are in their home another 158 so is that 190 total for this paid 42 then I have to pay my son probably about ten dollars, maybe like twelve. I have to check the time he took them to I take it apart. We'll just say ten for easy, so one hundred eighty dollars minus forty-two, whatever that is. So the one hundred thirty bucks, we'll say on average. I'll get back for it and I spent like an hour 15 did I say that just like right around an hour 15 minutes on it to put it away so and we added a lot of new lots let's export it and see what it shows I mean the, the new wood parts were uh, it was 50 lots I want to say like 22 were new and I don't, I don't know the number on this one exactly I guess I could go to the file and sort oh they all have remarks now <laughs> never mind um, uh, it says 41 new lots in my inventory today. 
So we upload this file, 1500 items. And we check that number again, 87. So that added over 40, 46, was it 46 total lata? Out of the 80, actually how many were there? All the parts were here. There wasn't anything missing as far as a whole lot, but you know, the, the there was definitely it was supposed to be three full sets as far as I could tell. But there was definitely I think that other there's another bag that was unopened that wasn't here from the from the new parts. It just wasn't here, so there was parts some parts missing, uh, but it wasn't it was just listed as like two point something pounds of parts from this set. So it didn't even say it was three whole sets. And then there's a white trophy and some other random parts that were left behind now uh, one I'm actually one more thing now that it's 322 I am gonna if my son did this uh, Star Wars file the final uh, Star Wars figures from that amazing haul they were all in the baggies a few videos back so uh, you know these are more of the see this is like the Clone Wars R2D2 these are more of the ones not not all of them were great um, with, like these ones uh, this one is worth like almost thirty dollars with the pauldron and the backpack, and this one is like twenty-eight, twenty-six or something. Like I don't know. Maybe he's a little over thirty. He's like twenty-something. It's like this one comes in the original Moss, the Isley, Easley, Cantina, however you say it, and this one came in the Imperial Shuttle, I think. So there's not not all these are super valuable ones. Or anything like that. They were just ones I held back for. I didn't know what I was going to do with them. It's gonna and I took. I did take some a number of them out for uh, conventions. Actually, not a number of them. I just took out. That's what I wanted to go through them first to see what I wanted to take out. So I took out. Yeah, all these um, to take to conventions. Like these sell right away, pretty much. I got two of those in there. Just things that I wanted. A variety of clone, clone pilots seem to do well there. People ask for them, so I took those most of those out. And then these are ones. Not specifically for convention, but I think could potentially on eBay. But I need parts for, I need to relist. But anyway, that's that. All right, this was a uh, nice. There's only a couple I had in my store. Um, Princess Leia, that clone trooper. Is that it? I think that might be it. So 31 new lots out of 33. 359 quick. Uploaded dollars like it's 3:42 p.m. now, and I'm about to call it a day. So that was that was really nice to get that that up. Um, that just that purchase was just amazing. Just keep thinking about it. I wish I could buy that like once every two weeks, something like that. Because it, it, it's been about two weeks, and we're almost through it. Tomorrow we'll be finished processing it. Uh, all I have left is the uh, CMFs. I already you know took a bunch out of here. But these are, I think I'm going to put all these onto BrickLink, or I'll take out a select few, probably for a convention that, that I know I just recently sold, um, or that will sell eventually there. So, but there is quite a bit in there. So it'll be nice to have that completed. All right, April 19th. Just shipped out my eBay orders. There was 11 of them. A couple of them. Like over 50 bucks, so it's not a bad day for there. But I'd say slow for a Friday morning. On average, so 22 orders. This don't let this fool you on Brick Hall. Some one person placed 10 separate orders. <laughs> don't know why. They just kept on coming in. I don't know why. I mean, so their first one must have been. It was a smaller one. I think they're at. The first one was this one, the first order of the day. And then later in the day, they decided. You know, it was this one because they kind of it was pretty. It was within like a two-hour time frame, so that, that's the one they had to pay the four ninety-nine shipping, and then the rest they paid an extra seventy-five cent fee to check out to cover the PayPal fee. All of these, except I don't think it's that one. That's a, that's a one-item thing. So there's not very many orders. Uh, I got this really good. This one is all Star Wars figures that I just, mostly I just listed yesterday. So that was pretty cool to see. So overall we have 232 lots for $493.
1100 items so very 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 good day so let's get this get this done it's 5 40 a.m. says light mm. all right order number six has a has a message here So, um, this says, thank you. I enjoy watching your content and appreciate all your hard work in keeping Bricklink classy. Thank you. Yeah, I have a passion to make sure Bricklink is good for everyone. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's kind of my livelihood. <laughs> if it wasn't a good place, I probably wouldn't sell on it. If it, if it just, but it's been, there's always the question, has it gotten better since Lego bought Bricklink, what was it? It's been three full years, I think. Going on to four at the end of the year. That's my best guess. I'm just guessing right now, but I think it's been three full years. Maybe it's four full years. I don't know. Um, I should have a. That should be like a date in our minds. But anyway, I see that they're located in. Um, this is this is my route from Menominee. To Quincy, Illinois. There's there's where it's located. So it's probably about four hours from Chicago, three and a half maybe. So it's seven and a half hours for me. Um, but that's where we're gonna be in uh, May what fourth and fifth, Saturday and Sunday. So it's kind of all the way on the west end of Illinois and all the way in the middle. So right on the border of Missouri and kind of by Iowa. So it's awesome. Don't know if this person can make it, but I see that they're they might be in the area. So if you can make it, it's a smaller show, I guess. It's the first time they're doing it at this location. Quincy, Illinois, has like forty thousand people, roughly, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, they've, they've had a show in Marion, Illinois. This group it's called the Ultimate Brick Show. They're having another one this year. I don't know if I'll be invited to that, but I was invited to this one. And if I am invited to the one in August, um, I will probably go to it. Just kind of, just kind of get my foot set in a whole other set of shows. It's, they just have the two. They could make three. I don't know. It's just an individual and his wife doing it. Um, and it's, the link to it is on my website. You're interested in looking into it but i know the one in august are having tons of the lego masters there since apparently so um, but awesome thanks for the order i'll finish this up and keep going order i was just double checking all the qualities making sure everything's good it's a nice uh nice order it was uh Total of $139 out the door, so 20 items, 10 lots, pretty good, 3 minutes, actually I spent another 3 minutes doing this, making sure it's all good, for some of this stuff, and out the door it goes. And, uh, it's 10 a.m., about to finish this up, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about 10 more here, and we're this guy done um, and then I'm gonna go for a run uh, I dumped this out so I got to process that uh, I got all these uh, Star Wars accessory up so this going right into the convention bin which I didn't didn't have one for him I think I'm gonna hold him back for now because I did order some the purple blades so we'll just throw them in the other ones. Um, at some point I'll go through and build some more before Chicago. I, I think I'll be okay for this next show in Illinois as far as Star Wars. I'll add a few more things over the next week and a half or we're leaving in 13 days so so I have some other stuff coming in so I'll periodically throw stuff in there. But yeah and I'm going to have my one son part out 65 of these. I saved 25. I got 90, so I'll get those done.
here. Here's my space bin for conventions. I think there was just a couple in there. I cleared it out probably end of last year. <laughs> Take it to some place I was going. Um, so I really haven't done anything to restock it. I mean, I've thrown in little things here and there, just but not into there. So I'm hoping to get that pretty good. So I have a brick store pulled up with all the space figures out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Sort this first of all by the themes, and then I will kind of go through each one and make make what I can. There's a lot of black drones in here. And a couple that should not have made the cut, but. Oh well. There's a lot of black trunks. Wow. I, don't know. I gotta figure out if I have enough black helmets. Because for some reason, <laughs> hardly any of these have helmets. That is no longer a black tron. <laughs> that is a wild color. That, oh, if only the front of the legs were not, or if only they were that color too. He must have been sitting down in something. <laughs> That is wild. It's just, it's it's almost perfectly colored. All the same. Interesting. <laughs> I might keep that just for display purposes. I mean, I can't sell that, but maybe I could. If I'm interested in it, someone else, maybe. Um, yeah, it's weird. So yeah, let me get this done. The only way I know how. 343 items we had. It's the only way I know how to get ahead. <laughs> there we go. Zero. We're done. Because today, just April 19th, so starting <laughs> here. Five orders, it's not even noon. <sighs> it's enough eBay orders that came in. Uh, and they're not, like I said this before, they're not all created equal. This was $67. This was $120. This was $220. Which, if I look at the uh, quantity, this one seems to be more, but there's, there's also pieces in this one. So, motorcycles. Which, ooh. Dark, uh, dark pink space, space man. Also, at least. I need a helmet to complete that, but I'm a tent. May, not, may or may not be in there, but yeah, this is a hundred dollars more. <laughs> but it looks like about the same amount of quantity in the end of figures. This was a buy it now. These two were auction. This is where you know buy it now is are nice because you buy it now, but they also tend to cost more, I think. But anyway, so not really going to go through this. Just showing this one. This one for sixty some dollars has a dark gray warg in it. That was what made me go after that one, I guess, because it wasn't very much in there. Um, but then, you know, Lord of the Rings, good value of stuff. Oh, I just just cut this guy's legs and torso in the last thing we just opened. But you never find the wings or the correct head. Maybe it's in here. Anyway, so this is going to go in the backlog, which I'll definitely have to start working at that soon. Ooh, that's a good Jedi head. So, got all these ready. I'm going to get these put for sale. All the CMFs that were in that, that bin. Paste that we did, plus all of these, which I do not have any of the visors, which I ordered right before my list went bye bye. So, Put this back over here and uh, finish those when they when they come. And then oh, I don't know. I guess I should just start sorting some of this stuff. Got two bins here from that. This is from that collection with the CMFs. After I got I got to head over back over there and do the CMFs first. But, um, no, no, this is something I just got. Yeah, this is from yesterday. And it all blends together. Well, it's 95 total. What are they worth? I don't know. Um, gotta be at least like six dollars on average because there's some really good ones. Um, so 
So 52672 is my best guess. 6672. Ooh, a slow. 656 on average for these 95 minifigs. They're all complete. I didn't listen to them as a complete set because I already all had the uh, stands in there, so might as well just keep them complete. And they all have accessories or we check them out to make sure they had everything needed. So awesome. Parts getting sorted. So I have all the CMFs in USB 27. I just took a bag and numbered what series it was so that when they sell, it'll be easy. This is just one empty bin I had left over here. It was, on, it was underneath these, but I'll, I don't really keep them in order per se in, the, in these columns, but yeah, this one has quite a bit of room still, and I have room in some of the bigger ones for the use, but that's all my used shoe boxes there. Some up top, but well, that's done. I'm going to do some mini fix sorting. I had a cart for the store, so I made sure because I had some delayed shipping. And he says, sorry for this, all the delays, I wanted to make sure they're going to ship it before I gave them a chance. So um, he said they will ship it by next Wednesday or Thursday. So I gave him a shot because I had a rare piece I needed, and we'll see. Probably go again. This is just the my cheaper minifigure stand stuff. Just throw in that bin. I got this stuff for eBay. I've never seen this figure in person, so i will give it a shot on eBay. This is pretty good. And I need these two pieces to complete some stuff. Tray left, and then probably do this next week because I just got well, some more stuff ready for a convention. This stuff I'm still so I'm adding to my stuff. I gotta work out. I gotta work a little bit more. And then this is all for Bricklink, sorted by full complete minifigs or almost complete parts and more parts. That is the file created. That's really good. And then I saw I found this before. I was like, I thought was, I just passed it through in the Star Wars. It's the Clone Wars one. Nope, it's the one that goes to that head. I just need to get the hair, which I actually found it in this. <laughs> I just threw the hair in here, which I have some. It's not it's not uncommon anymore. And uh, legs and cape. We have a complete Count Dooku. The good, the really good one. Now I decide if I want to bring it to convention or put it on eBay. We'll see. If this was a lot that Kevin from Leg Rose was looking at, because he was specifically looking at this figure on screen. Oh, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. He was debating whether to bid on it. He would, I don't know if he actually bid on it or not, but he was like going in depth on this figure because he was checking it with the regular Comic Con one, which you can tell with the face the print is just really off uh, right away. But there's some really good faked in here. Like, I was questioning this for a second. I'm like, without looking at the stamp, like this, the, I saw the stuff on the side of this torso. Shouldn't be there. And even when I open it, I'm like, oh, what? It kind of looks like Lego. But you can tell just a little the, the tint of the plastic or the just the texture of it, I guess. Not really texture, just the. doesn't look like standard Lego. These 65 poly bags we parted out. 20 and putting aside to a process later. I'm trying to get 20 completes here and we're going to part out the rest, some for convention, and all the parts and this other figures in it too. I have 13 of these torsos I'm going to part out tomorrow because I don't have time and then I have to get these moved around and I don't have time. It's 10 after 4. I was supposed to be out here at 4. $450. Um, I don't know, I got these, just, it was, it was under $3, so I'll just say 3 times 65, 195 but I also took away, there's 7, I'm building 7 figures for convention there, there's 5 of the Kais over there, and I took 20 more Kais out, so, very good value for these, these, these poly bags, so, it actually lowered prices, I'm like 10% below the average sold prices, just because it's such a high quantity, you want to sell the stuff, so, uh, get this, Done and I'll put this away later tonight. We don't we don't sleep in Saturdays. Uh, I, had, I think that was 13 items on eBay total in nine orders or something like that. It was kind of slow for eBay to be honest. Um, and on Bricklink and Brickow, I mean, 
it just keeps on I used to say um, early on when I first went full time that it's a, it's a money making machine I've turned it into that at least because it's not easy uh, to get it going it takes a long time but it's definitely been uh, churning out for me that uh, that prerogative is that the right term to say <laughs> I don't know 18 orders so 13 brickling 5 brick all pretty normal to have that difference there in the two 1500 items 281 lots and 660 dollars is just amazing so that's that's great so we gotta get this done the 18 orders I got all the labels for each order ready and we just hit start the start pulling button and uh, and away we go. First order's up. 11 lots, 14 items. Let's get it. It's finished. There's 47 lots, 154 items. Um, it's the largest monetary, 139. So we got this awesome king that I recently got from those bagged minifix, minifix haul a few videos back. King George's officer, I think. So, but cannons I just read this through this this week lots of heads some plumes other pirate hats so this is like a pirate theme gold bars this is for the cannons to put them on wheels so definitely a good nice pirate theme awesome stuff the gen yeah that I've been recognizing this name on eBay and then I saw it come through here so I'm like oh yeah they probably watch the channel um, it says I've been loving the minifix selection selection on the store as well as eBay also watch on YouTube frequently. Thanks for all you do. You're very welcome. Thank you um, for continuing to come back. So, 3693. Come on. So there's seven items, seven lots. We'll pull this. Try to pull this whole thing. Some of these mini figs can be like jammed in drawers with other ones. It'll take a minute, but there's a pirate. He's 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 hanging out. He's like, let me out of here. We got you, buddy. Someone's coming to your rescue. Five five seven. Is, well, is that I can, gotta bring my card over, I guess. This guy. See, when there's a lot of minifigs and drawers, but I try not to put the same types in there. So that should be the only pirate in there. Uh, but it doesn't always work out that way. But that's my intent. This one is just in its own drawer here. Awesome. Jetpack, clone trooper. USB 27. Oh, he did. I just got two of the new, not new, but the ones that I uh, I just put these in here yesterday. All these CMFs we, up, we uploaded. So, um, what was it? Number six was the alien. Some alien and 20, not 27, it's number 10. Is, I was yesterday when I was sorting all these out to upload from my son, was doing it for me. I was just putting them in uh, drawers with what series they were. He's like, How do you know what everything goes to without even looking it up? I was like, Doing it every day of my life for the last seven plus years, you learn. I mean, they're not changing those series don't change that's, that's what they came in originally so and there we go awesome thank you so much again Out the door the good order is sixty dollars but it's only six lots because they got a couple uh pieces this is someone that keeps ordering for me as well so it's awesome to see people come back so there are all these ones i uploaded yesterday Barbarian is in there somewhere. There he is. So the Barbarian, I see. There's the Roman. And then under here, with this top thing. And then this is a yeah, diver. In there. And then uh, series two, it's a good one here. That was worth a lot. Most expensive item, Spartan Warrior. So awesome. It's 
such a good purchase this, this, this minifig all is. So that's done. Do, 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 done. The store. Joe is back for more. There I am. Some used used parts. 18 lots, the biggest order that was left. Took me about 10 minutes. We have three lots, six lots, five lots, and three lots. And we are done at 7.40 a.m. on Saturday. Can't wait to get to uploading all that stuff that we have a file ready for. Thank you. Mail is done. 8.15. And we work on this. I just pulled it up. It's 225 lots, 554 items. My son spent about two and a half hours on it, I think. I don't know. He said the work had a... Issue. Oh no. But oh, just a one by two. I thought he needed a tile. But he got it. But that only really we just got that we're going to do a uh, purchase. So he's worth so like $25. So I don't know what this is going to be worth. Um, I got to make a guess. Turn that down. Um, 500 items. Most of it, not most of it, but a lot of it is minifigures there and then uh, mini doll parts so my mini doll parts in my minifig sorting area was far full I'm like I'm not gonna put this away I just gave him the whole thing and I gave him all my mini doll, doll bins and he kind of combined like the hairs and the legs and um, the legs were almost full so I said just pull out a bunch that have multiples and list all those and then the hairs were overflowing and put in a fit and I said list a bunch of those so this is a job we can probably do. It's not full, but there's a lot of quantity in there, which uh, that's, that goes in the food. Um, and the torsos, I don't think we did much with today. They're kind of combined. I could easily just have them do some of that, but anyway, what's it worth? I don't know. <sighs> I think we're going to be over 500. I mean, that's my best guess, but maybe not. Uh, I'll do 421.87 is my, my 421.87. What's it gonna be? Oh, 553 cents, wow. And two were skipped. Whoops. I don't know which ones were skipped. Oh, they already had a price in there. Because there was a, his, when you load stuff, it's like a penny price. It's just set to that. But these two are skipped. Who is this? I didn't know what head this was. Oh, New Year's Eve one. It's never sold as a used item. 60 some cents new, so we'll just do 60. This is never sold as a used item, and we'll just do 75. Okay. I gotta get it back in my order. What I do is I just, I just, ba um, I just invert the index when how things you uploaded. The last thing you uploaded was this warg, so it should go from this way. That, that should be the first thing you uploaded. So it's just I just do it that way. Just run it backward and uh, get it uploaded as fast as we can.